All right, so we're back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can actually use different option types. So, for example, I'll show you how you can use roles, users, channels, and etc. And it's actually very simple. So instead of actually providing, you know, strings like the predefined values that we've are, that we have uh, set for the user to select, instead of doing that, we can actually do that with roles, users, channels, and a bunch of different things. So before we do anything else, so let me go ahead and actually organize my code a little bit because I don't like having everything in just one file. So what I'll do is I'm going to take this whole command over here and I'm going to go ahead and copy that and or I'm going to cut it and I'm going to create a folder called commands and I'll go ahead and just create a file called order.js and I'm going to paste this code in there and I'm just going to go ahead and import slash command builder and I'll delete it from this file. Okay, and then the next thing that we'll do is we'll export uh, order command, but we'll actually export the, the value of the to JSON call. So for example, export default order command dot to JSON. So that way when I uh, import uh, when I import the default export from order.js, I'm just importing uh, a JSON I'm order I'm just import I'm importing the object so I don't have to worry about calling the actual uh, function. So what we'll do is in our main file we'll import uh, order command and there's a better way to organize this. for now this is just what we'll do for the time being okay so I'll import this and I'll just pass this down over here whoops so now I have everything a little bit more cleaned up just a little bit so we're exporting the two the value of two JSON okay we're exporting that and then we're importing that inside our main file and we're just passing that inside this array. So really the same thing is happening, it's just that we're organizing things a lot more better. Okay, the command will work the same exact way. Now let's go ahead and work on a new command. And so we'll go inside the commands folder. I'll create a rules.js file. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and import the same thing slash command builder. And we're going to create a variable called rules command. And this will have this will be an instance of slash command builder. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to set the name. So I'll just call this add role, set the description, add a role. And now instead of calling add string option, because remember the string options were basically just string values, let's go ahead and provide a different type of option, right? On the official docs, they have many different types of options that you can provide for command options. They have a subcommand. That's only if you're working with subcommands. We're not doing that right now. But you can do string, integer, boolean, user, channel, rule, mentionable, uh, number, and attachment. Uh, let's go ahead and work with... Let's do a role since we're doing role. So let's do add role option. Okay. And I'm assuming that it's just going to be a callback function as well. And you can go ahead and uh, set the names, the description. You can also do other things such as uh, sets required. Let me actually see something. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is fine. So let's go ahead and just set the name. Uh, new role. Description. Adds the new role. Okay. And I think this should be all that it is that we need to do. Let's try and export this right now and see what happens. Okay. And let's also look. It seems like there's no role option. They don't have one for roles here. Well, actually, they might have some more. Nope, they only have. But it's fine. Um, Uh, yeah, I don't think there's really much that you need to do anyway, so that's okay. All right, so let's go ahead and import this now. So let's do import rules command from command rules.js. And let's just pass this in, in our array. Because remember, this is these are really just uh, JSON objects. So we can pass them in, pass them in as so. Now it's saying invalid string format. I'm not sure what's going on. All right, so after uh, 
playing around with this for a little bit. I actually had to go into Discord JS server to figure out what this issue was. So it seems like this set name over here has to be all lowercase. And it cannot have any spaces. And if it does, it's going to throw an error. So if you see over here, if I were to give it a space, you're going to see it's going to throw that error. And if I were to put remove the space, the error goes away. But if I were to do a capital, it'll throw an error as well. So it had something to do with uh, the role name. Uh, but that's okay. So now that we know that this is working, uh, we're exporting this and we import it over here. Let's go ahead and add this right over here. Okay. Now let's go back to Discord and let's see what's up. So we have the add role. And you can see that right over here, uh, you can sh see that it shows the role right over here. Everyone. I only have one role in the server. I could go ahead and create another one right now. Uh, let's go over to roles. Let's do create role. And let's go ahead and call this role uh, blue. I'll give it a blue color. Save it. And you can see now that uh, it will now show uh, the blue role. Okay. And server settings. If we go ahead and create another role. Let's create pink. Uh, let's see. Is there a pink color anywhere? Let's, let's do this for now. Save. And there you go. Now you can see that the other role appears over here. And then obviously you could do whatever you want with uh, the data once that's being sent to the server it's up to you and i showed you uh in a pre in a couple of pre in a couple of videos ago how to handle uh, uh slash commands right you basically just listen to the interaction create event and then you would check to see if the command is a chat input command and then you would do a certain thing based off of what it is now because we do have two chat commands now um you will actually need to check to see what's the name of the chat command because right now over here we're only checking to see if the interaction is a chat command or a chat input command what if there's two right how do you know which one is which well fortunately you can actually just do int if interaction dot name command name and you can just check to see if it's equal to you know uh, add role or if it's equal to order or i could do that okay but i just want to show you what we could do with the roles we're not going to do that right now but i just want to show you what would happen if you were to create this add role command and you can see that it allows you to select the role if i were to type something that doesn't make sense it's gonna tell you not a valid role so you would have to select blue pink etc okay that's pretty much it with uh roles now in terms of uh making sure that it doesn't show roles that should not be there right because let's say for example if you have a moderator role on the server right should the user be able to even select the moderator role to begin with right now i don't know if there's actually a way to filter out certain roles from being shown because by default i think it will show all the roles so that's something that i'll have to uh look up real quick but uh from what i was told on the discord js uh server that it's not uh, possible so if you were to create a command with roles you have to be very careful to make sure that you ensure that the user selects the correct role and if they select let's say a moderator role for whatever it is that you're doing of course right let's say if you're allowing the user to select a certain role well i wouldn't I, I personally wouldn't encourage you to do it this way i would encourage you to use some kind of drop down box for example like a drop menu but uh yeah just be very careful when you use slash commands with uh the role option okay uh, so that's going to be pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you how you can use roles for your slash commands. I'll show you some other examples later on with users and channels and stuff. But that will say, I'll say that for the next video. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out.